I have struggled with my emotions this week. I am a creature of habit. See, and no matter what, I don't like this number. I am a big goal setter. I'm not lying, that's who I am. Okay, we are gonna go from true test, this is my favorite walk ever, to stacked, because one, it is free shaker Friday. So there's gonna be a bunch of people in here. And two, I wanna sign up for this challenge. So, once a month, we try to just give back. No purchase needed, just give them a gift. Show them you love them, show them you appreciate them as a customer. Um, it goes a long way, so that is what today is. I am next in line to sign up for this challenge. You doing it next? Yeah. Cool. I've already signed up. I'm doing it. Are you? Yeah. Like you personally? Yeah. Good. How many people are signed up in the Marion store so far? Like 85. What's your goal for today? Definitely over 100 today, to that'll be easy. Yeah. Okay, it'll okay. be fun. How are you? Melissa? Yes. I'm Tammy. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I'm mom. Mom. I was like, Tammy, Tammy, how do I know a Tammy? And I'm like, yes, how are you? I'm good, nice to see you. Nice to meet you and put a face to your yeah, name. Well, yes. Not today. Oh, listen, it's we fine. Out of bed and ran over here. That's good. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. I love your sons. I think you already know this. Thank you. Me too. I'm sure you do also. Yes. Oh my gosh. They are amazing humans. You've done great. Thank you. And I am only gonna try to do better. <laughs> one of my best friends, Jen. Hi. And nice Melissa, to nice you. to meet you. So uh, signing up for the challenge? Yeah. Me too, I'm so excited. So the first step of the challenge is an in-body scan. I do love the in-body scan because it tells me more than just my like one number on the scale. I know I preach the message a lot, but I am still guilty of looking at the number on the scale and judging and making decisions based on it. And that's not the best practice. And I know this, but I am human. And so jumping on the in-body scale in our stores is free, but for me, it's just a good like indicator of, is my muscle mass going the way I want it to go? Is my fat going the way I want it to go? Is the number changing? Because it's a good num a good thing, um, rather than just making emotional decisions. So that's what I'm gonna do. See, and no matter what, I don't like this number. No matter what. 16% body fat, um, not my goal, but that's why we're starting this transformation challenge. And done, okay. So busy mom of three, busy is a relative term, but how do I make this all work for me in a day? In a, in a day? Um, I said it earlier of there's like four things that I need, four boxes I need to check in a day. It's Melissa, it's wife, it's mom, and it's um, business. So for me, Melissa is more like my fitness, my nutrition, my accountability to myself, my emotional health, my spiritual health, all of those things. But a lot of that for me, the my momentum comes with my like physical feeling good. And I'm busy, so how do I stay on track? Um, I eat meal prep. So it's not uncommon for me to jet in here, grab a protein bar, grab a meal, and like that is how I stay on track. Because if you were to leave it up to me to just like go through the day without any of my food, I would be a train wreck. Jargly, a lot of people are. Um, but that's what keeps, like, that's how you have to say, like, prepare for your day. Um, those who fail to prepare, prepare to fail is a good saying. Um, so I'm gonna make sure, before we continue this day and get any further into it, I have snacks on me, protein snacks on me, so that if I get hungry at any point of this, I know I'm reaching for something good. Every single day, I am a creature of habit. Like, it's laughable because for 20 years, I've eaten eggs for breakfast and everybody thinks it's hilarious, but I just, I can eat the same thing every single day, which is, a, I think, a benefit. So every single day, I also love to have this first form chocolate pretzel or peanut butter pretzel. I'll find it. This one, this one is my absolute favorite. Um, and there's also another running joke because I still to this day drink a white monster every day. And we don't sell white monsters. We sell everything but white monsters. Um, so at like 10 o'clock, I don't know what time it is. I feel like it's about 10 o'clock. Um, we're gonna have a white monster and one of these protein bars. I'm not lying, that's who I am. Maybe everybody's guilty of this, of like, I'm gonna do that next year, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. But I always, I get so caught up in the day to day probably, right. that our trips historically are like, hey, can you wanna leave town tomorrow? And I want to like plan some things. And so one of my, me and Matt's New Year's Eve was, I thought it was awesome, but it, to maybe to some it was lame. Where I literally just sat down on my couch with a notebook. I was like, what does, the, what's important for this year? Like, what are you actually gonna do different? And one of them was like, 
experiences. I want to plan more experiences. Yeah. And spring break with the kids was one of them. Because we are at fun ages, like eight, four, and two. Right. It'll be wild, don't get me wrong, but it'll be fun. And it's like the embrace the chaos stage. It'll be worth it. Yeah. yeah. I hear what the world says about like, don't make any use but like, I do appreciate that it is a good time for people to reflect and set new goals. Like, I am a big goal setter, but if we're talking about other people's New Year's resolutions, I think they should just do resolutions more, right? Like, carry that out, carry that throughout the year. So I don't, I don't care if people are like, I have this New Year's resolution. Like, I'm a cheerleader. Like, get after it. Yeah. Go for it. If you fail, get back up again. Like, right. don't quit. But that's always like my mindset on it. So if it if it takes the New Year's resolution to get you to make that change, okay, whatever it takes. I'm not here to judge. Matt is not with me today because he is sick, which is unheard of. Even if he is sick, he always powers through it, but this one has him like in bed for four days, which has made this week unique for me. We do still have three children that still need to get to school. And then Tatum busted her chin open to school, just random stuff. But he is hopefully on the mend. He is, he is getting nutrition in his body today, which is a first. So the show must go on as far as business. So we're gonna hammer the list and try to still make today super successful. And my mission is to stay in a good, positive mindset because I will say with all of the curveballs this week, I'm not super impressed with how I responded to them. I'm always like trying to better my emotional response or lack of emotional response and like do better is a weird phrase that I always say, but I do feel like if you can respond appropriately, you can be more productive. And I've struggled with my emotions this week just based on stress, but everybody has stress in their own fashion, so be the force of good is what I'm trying to be. And today, woke up, had an awesome hour-long cardio session. I'm trying to become a better runner. That is one of my New Year's resolutions for this year, is I, am, I'm, I wanna be a better runner, and I wanna improve my lower physique. Everybody wants to improve, right, their physique, but I, should, I would say that my physique is pretty decent, but I also want to, this is weird, I wanna know that I can defend myself and protect myself, or like, my family and have the cardiovascular strength if I need it. Like, I don't wanna just look like I'm in good shape. I wanna actually be in good shape because you see, I'm guilty. I could I have all the muscle in the world, but if you were like, go run a mile, I'd be like, oh, I don't know if I can do that today. <laughs> um, and so I don't want it, I want it to have June. And then Matt is running an, or is doing it, performing an Ironman just off the whim, which is insane. Like his, uh, right his discipline to that journey is insane to me and it's impressive to watch. And I will never compare myself to the runs that he's putting in because they are, I think he did a half marathon the other day just on a random Saturday training. Psych. I'm like three miles and I'm a success story. So I don't want to be, um, I'm not comparing myself to his journey, but I do want to like level up, like push myself and find new. And whenever I push or whenever, I think whenever anybody pushes themselves, you find new disciplines. Um, so a lot of it is like overcoming the mental side of it too. Um, because in hard times, you get stronger. Yeah. So let's go. If running has to make me stronger, so be it.